it's odd no one was there. So, Victor Pachinov. Must be a million years. I'd hope for a million more. I still have a scar on my left hand from the last time we met. You two know each other? Our respective companies worked out of Brussels. Been back there lately? Too many pigeons. Ah, I thought it might be that murder warrant perching over your head that's kept you away. Murder warrant? Forgotten that bloody unpleasantness in the Parliament building? It was on Europe's front pages for weeks. <laughs> that was all cleared up. Really? Well, yeah, maybe we should call Interpol to make sure. There's no need to call anybody. Listen, it could mean free airfare back to Europe. Of course, you'd be handcuffed to a human fence post all the way. And then, of course, if you managed to thwart Belgian justice, the Moscow regime, the new one, might want a word with you about your double dealing. Look, I didn't know she was a friend of yours, all right? It goes without saying, the debt is forgotten. I won't bother her again. Make sure you don't. Finally over. These past few weeks, I'm telling you, they have just been the worst. But now I know that Dinah's okay and you are coming home. Wait a minute, Counselor, not so fast. I think you're still missing something here. Uh, the two things, they, they negate each other. If Dinah is re-ensconced, I can't go back. Play. Ross, I'm not giving you an ultimatum. We don't fit under the same roof, and that's all there is to it. Honey, I would love to give in again, but if I did, he would destroy us. All right, well, you let me work on it, okay? Does that mean you're gonna tell her to leave? Yeah. Honey, I know it's rough, but I even think for... it'll be better for Dinah herself in the end. You're probably right. So what are you going to tell her? Uh, tonight, when I get home. Will you call me after? Yeah. You've got a lot to learn, little girl. You deserved that for letting me come in here all alone and get half scared to death. Now, you knew you didn't give the money back to Victor, so you knew he could be in here waiting for me. You could have rescued me that whole time, but no, you let me sweat it out. You were never in danger. You said he was a murderer. He is. You really shouldn't associate with scum like that. Okay, so you promised to give him back the money. Where is it? Well, I knew I could persuade Victor to leave, so I arranged to have the money returned to the authorities. You returned it? Why? You threatened me this morning. I don't like being threatened any more than I like being slapped. Besides, it was the only way I could make certain that I wouldn't be implicated as your accomplice. Other than that, it's been swelled. Daddy to walk in and find me here. So, adieu. Bonsoir. Bonsoir, mon amour. Yes, this is she. No, I'm not interested in any septic tank enzyme. No, and don't call back. I need to, to keep this line clear. Oh, Ross. 
Oh, Dinah, you oh. are here. Daddy, of course I am. Oh. Where else would I be? Oh. Are you all right? Well, now that I know that you are, yes. I didn't know what happened to you. I looked all over the place. I, I left messages everywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want you to worry. Well, I was. I didn't know what happened to you. I mean, one minute you were at the ball, next minute you weren't. I thought you went back to your original plan and flew to South America, but I checked with the airlines and you weren't on the passenger list. So what happened? Oh, it's a long, boring story. But uh, the good news is that I solved my money problem. Isn't that great? Yeah. How? Well, I told you, it's a, it's a long story. Let's just say a friend came through for me. Must have been a very good friend. You owed a lot of money. Well, not anymore. <laughs> it's all taken care of. No strings attached. Do you know what that means, Daddy? No, what? Well, it means that you don't have to do anything rash to get me the money, so everything can go back to normal. I can stay here, just the two of us. Won't it be wonderful? Yes, that'll be wonderful, but Dinah, a few things are oh, going to change. Daddy, you don't here. know how much I've dreamed about this. Ever since I was a little girl, I always prayed that I would find my real daddy. <laughs> and I would make him so proud of me. I would be the best daughter in the world, and I would take care of him the way I know that he would want to take care of me. I'd grow up, and, and everything would be perfect. And my dream has come true. It's happened. I'm here. Yes, here you are. I love you more than anything in the world, Daddy. Sleep tight. I know I will. Did you or did you not tell Dinah that she has to go? Actually, we need a little more time. Blake, I am going to tell her. Yeah, right, sure you are. I know that you're disappointed. Oh, no, I'm just going to slit my throat, or hers. Tonight is simply not a good time. I haven't even found out where she was. Why bother? She wouldn't tell you the truth anyway. The girl was so tired, she just wanted to go to bed, OK? Now, how could I tell her that she has to leave her father's house? I'm not going to lay that on her, not tonight. Good. Hello? Josh, it's Ross. May I speak to Vanessa, please? Hi, Ross. Uh, she's not here right now. Do you know when she'll be back or how I can get a hold of her? Actually, no. I think she's out of town or something. Is there something I can do for you? I wish you could. Would you just tell her that I need to talk to her? Yeah, sure. Uh, what else? Anything else? Just as soon as possible. Okay. No problem. I'll give you the message. I gotta go. Take care. You don't have any rooms available for a week? What's going on? Oh, a couple of conventions. All right, well, I'm in a bit of a bind. Could you recommend someplace else? Well, never mind. I've already tried there. All right, thanks for your help. <clears throat> I'm glad you're still up. I was feeling lonely upstairs all by myself. Sorry. Well, you have nothing to be sorry for, Daddy. I'm just grateful to be in the same house with you. Uh, if you're sleepy, I, I mean, I don't want to keep you up. No. <clears throat> no, I'm not at all. So then you don't mind staying up for a while, keeping me company? <sighs> you seem rather uh, quiet this evening. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I am. Why is that? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I, I was just upstairs and... All this feeling sort of came over me. What kind of feeling? That this is all too good to be true. That it's not going to last. Now, all my life, I've wandered around. I never really belonged to anyone or anything, any place for that matter. But now, now I have this house, my own room. <laughs> My very old father sitting here with me. I, I am a real part of a real family. <laughs> you know, Daddy, I know that I've been messy and disruptive and unreliable, irresponsible Dinah. sometimes. No, it's true. I have really not been the perfect house guest. 
Well, you're young. You have a right to be a little flighty, I guess. A lot flighty. Well, that's not the way I look at you at all. Oh, you're just saying that to make me feel better. Uh, no, I'm not. In fact, I think that you have grown up to be a very impressive young woman. Hmm. Well, Vanessa seems to think it's time to face the cold, hard facts of life. What cold, hard facts are those? Well, I have to stop being happy and spontaneous, true to myself. I wouldn't want you to stop being any of those things. Well, I just think it's crazy to work as a slave in a career that all you, you know, all you care about is the money. <laughs> you have to admit that money is a necessary evil. I know, but if you look at it that way, then you end up serving a life sentence and you forget what happiness was. I don't think that's what Vanessa wants for you. I mean, learn responsibility. Yes, you should do that, but don't lose your spark. Well, a lot of water's been tossed on my spark lately, but I'll try to keep it lit. Okay, look, Dinah, I need to ask you something. Where were you last night? Oh, I was, I was just with some friends. You don't know them, Daddy. Well, why don't you let me meet them sometime? Mm, I don't think so. Well, the truth is, I don't think you'd really like them. But they're not really friends anyway. They're just more like acquaintances. Uh, I was just hanging out with them at the ball because I felt so out of place there. You know, I just wanted to get far away from there, and I didn't want to be causing you any more problems. Honey, you weren't, and I was worried about you. Well, you needn't have been because I'm fine, and I am just so happy to be with someone who cares about me, finally. Someone who I don't have to pretend with. I... Oh, I'm just so happy to be home, Daddy. Hi, honey. I just wanted to let you know I'm okay. Oh, God. I was worried about you. Oh, well, as you can see, I am in the pink. Where have you been? Did you talk to Mom? Did she say anything about Fletcher? Well, I've been around. No, I haven't. But everything is fine. It's just fine. You know, when evenly matched armies collide, he who surrenders lives to fight another day. Loosely paraphrased from the Tao Ching. That's great that you're reading, Dad. <laughs> it's better than going for a gun, I guess. How about you? What are you doing here at this hour? You haven't gone back to Ross? No. Well, honey, you know, maybe you're better off. Maybe... Now, don't even say it, Dad, okay? Okay? I would be back there if... He had made it easier for me to go back there. Well, but, you know, maybe that can show you the kind of guy... No, he... I know the kind of man that he is. He's a very loving, caring, slightly misguided, a wonderful man. He's just stuck between a rock and a hard place, and I don't blame him. I'm asking him to do something very rough. And what is that? Kicking that parasitical, lying little wench out of our house, that's what. Oh, I forgot. You're a big fan of hers, too, aren't you? Contrary to what you obviously think, I barely know the girl. But, I mean, parasitical, I, you know. She's a leech. If our finances were in a bathtub, it would be like somebody pulled the drain out of it or something. She's gum on your shoe. She's a gnat in your eye, and she's a mosquito in your ear. And when she smells warm blood, forget it. It's like the maddening buzz just never ends. Mm -hmm. But what do you really think, Dad? I mean, have I put Ross in a spot by demanding that he swatter? Or am I being just this evil stepmother? Well, I do know something about a father's love for his daughter. But you're not blind to all of my faults, are you? Of course not, honey. You don't have any. Oh. Mm -hmm. Why does she have to focus on me and Ross to exploit? Why doesn't she find somebody else in this town? There's a very simple way you could rid yourself of this girl, and you know what it is, but you're obviously so devoted to Ross. I'm you... more than devoted to Ross. I love him. I don't care what you think about him, Dad. I love him more than I've ever loved anyone. And I will never stop loving him. Even Dinah cannot change that. She's ruthless, though. That girl is ruthless, Dad. I just have to stay one step ahead of her before she destroys everything I care about in this world. I need to help Ross through this. I can't just sit back here and not take action. I gotta do something. I'm not gonna surrender here. Out of here. We're gonna go. Oh, oh um... Dinah, you know how much your being home means to me. I don't want to interrupt you, Daddy, but oh, I am famished. Are you as hungry as I am? 
<laughs> yeah, I guess I am. Uh, when was the last time you ate? I don't even remember. <laughs> oh. I wish I was in such a klutz in the kitchen, though, where I'd... Well, I'm not go. a great chef, but I know my way around. What would you like? Well, anything you want to fix. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, well, why don't we make this uh, an occasion? Well, it is an occasion if my father's going to fix me a meal. Yeah. Oh, and I have a special bottle of uh, Pouille Fousse. Ooh, that been saving. perfect, my fave. Well, good. Two glasses coming up. Give me a minute. Okay. Shall I get him? No. We're gonna have a talk, just you and me. Has he told you about our decision yet? What decision? Well, I was afraid that he wouldn't have the heart to tell you. So I will. You're moving out tonight. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't believe you. Daddy and I just had a long talk about the importance of family. I bet you did. He asked me to stay indefinitely. Dinah? You are putting words into his mouth like usual. He didn't say that. You know it, and I know it. But no matter, because the cold, hard fact is, he has decided to have you go. <sighs> Come off it, Blake. You have been trying everything you can think of to get rid of me, and nothing's worked so far. So now you're resorting to bald-faced lies. Well, I'll just go in the kitchen and ask Daddy the truth. Dinah, we're going the whole nine yards. I got some Cornish game hands. Hi, sweetheart. Your wife tells me that you're throwing me out. Is it true? I tried to leave you out of this, Ross, but she wouldn't listen to me. You're gonna have to tell her yourself. Tell me what? right. You have to go. Do you want me to? I'm sorry. Because she wants me to. No, it is not her fault. And it's not your fault. Well, then what? Why? Honey, it's a strain on our marriage with the three of us here. So oh, you're tossing me out in the street? No. No, I just think that you should go and stay with your mother for a while. In fact, I can drive you over there. Don't bother. Send for the rest of my things later. when you're not in it. You are my life. Mm. 
see if we could nail down some times here and have something, you know? Now, uh, night of the ball, and you were dancing with Pappas, but you don't remember exactly what time. Here you go. The donut is on the house. You need something in your stomach, Dinah. Okay, okay, forget that. Okay, you danced with Pappas, you had a plate of food with Stavros. Wait, 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 what one was that? Hmm? Early. Are you certain of that? Oh, come on. I, I was with everybody. I was everywhere. I don't remember. It was all a blur. You know, the only thing that's clear to me now is my future. It's going to be in jail and not overnight. I, there's no way I'm going to get out of this mess. Come on. Dad, don't worry about it. We'll find a way. Let's see this list. Here. At least not here with me. Yes, I am. Mm -mm. You traveled somewhere. You were floating. Stop worrying about Dinah, okay? She's a big girl, trust me. She has a built-in self-preservation button. Blake, mm -hmm. please don't be so hard on her. Am I, really? Remember the first time that we were so worried about her? She was having a midnight supper at the... At the country club? Yes. Yes, with your father? Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember. Well, that was rock bottom. At least she hasn't sunk that low again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I <laughs> don't <laughs> <laughs> that. Is that the way it's going to be? Yes, it is. Okay, <laughs> behind your knee. <laughs> no, 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 I love you very much. Well, in case you didn't know, being with you in our bed again, it's like a feeling I've never had before. It's only going to get better, too. Really? Mm. I can hardly wait. But first, I want to say one more thing about Dino, okay? And then, and then we're going to drop it. Honey, bunny, why don't we just drop it right now? Ross, I know how tough it was for you to ask her to leave. But I honestly believe that it's the best thing that could happen to her. Hmm. Okay. Now, I am going to make you a sumptuous feast. Enough food to keep us happy the entire day. And bedridden, too. <laughs> um, a day in which... A certain young lady with the initials D.M. will not be mentioned. Okay. I adore you. Uh, Alan Michael, it's Ross. <clears throat> if you've heard from Dinah, would you please give me a call? Thank you. It's okay, you know. What's okay? To care about Dinah. You love her. How could you not care about her? I try too hard with her. I just have to find a better way to handle her. I'm not so sure she can be handled. Thank you. Mm. So, it's been a very... Educational last few weeks, hasn't it? I tell you, I've learned a few things about myself. Really? Yeah, number one, I've learned that I'm a chauvinist. When did you come to this conclusion? I was actually going to mortgage this house without consulting you. As if all the assets were my department somehow. Ergo, as we lawyers are want to say, I have taken steps to amend this particular situation. What is this? What is this? 
just open it. It's, um... Uh, this is a legal document. What, what, what does this say? What is oh, it? honey, don't read it. It's got a lot of the party, the first parts, and all that. But in plain English, what it says is that this house is now in both our names. Oh, Ross. Oh, Ross. I hope that means you still love me in spite of my being a male of the worst variety. Let me show you just how much. Hello, Dinah. Hi, Dinah. Hi. Hi. Looks like a party. Hi, Dinah. What a nice surprise. What's the occasion? I've asked your mother to marry me. And she said yes. For a day. You and I have to get to work sometime. Yeah, we do. Wait, 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 wait. You haven't heard my toast yet. I, uh, may not be here for the wedding, so I guess this is it. <laughs> it's terrible to be alone in the world. But it's wonderful when you find someone to love. So here's to my mother for finding this gorgeous young man. And here's to Matt. For wanting to start a whole new family. I hope you make a very happy home. Cheers. <sighs> Gotta go. See ya. Bye. Let me. Dinah. Let go of me. I know what you're doing. You know nothing. You're nothing. You're playing on your mother's guilt. You're trying to hurt her. You better let go of my arm, Matt. I'm not going to let you do that. Oh, you won't? Well, who the hell are you to say anything about what happens between me and my mother? Don't underestimate me, Donna. I don't estimate you at all. I failed her, Daddy. I failed her terribly. No, that's not true, darling. You've always tried to do what you thought was best for her. Oh. Mm -hmm. 